What's up guys and gals, it's me, your old buddy Mr. Moose, back with another edition of Transport Fever. And here we are back on our US theme map. We are here in Kansas City, where in our last episode, you may remember we were working on the freight line uh, to establish freight finally on this east line, uh, which we hadn't done anything past the river and past Thousand Oaks. Uh, so that is one of the things we are going to work on today is finishing that up and getting it started today to run because our first little bit of business that we're going to be able to uh, work on is getting our oil refinery up and running here in Kansas City, which will be great because we'll get fuel into the industrial area. That'll spur it to grow. Uh, and then we'll also work on maybe getting the stone quarry uh, connected up here to a building materials factory just outside of Torrance. Uh, and that'll be great as well for our industry. But eventually we need to get some uh, tools and some food and things like that selling so we can get our business districts up. Uh, but let's get one thing at a time, and that is get the oil up and running. So let's take a look at what we got going on. Again, when we last left off, we put this in, and it looks pretty good. It's a little barren. It could use a lot of trees. Um, but for the most part, it does look pretty good. I like the, I like the way it turned out. Um, we did go ahead and put a lot of these signals in, but we still have a bit of signaling that needs to be done uh, before we can get this guy running. So let's go ahead and uh, work on signaling the rest of the line up. And then we'll work on getting a, a train or two into here. So we got this coming this direction. We really don't need a signal on this side of it, uh, but we probably need one on the back side of it here. Probably need a signal over here, a signal about halfway here. And then maybe we can put some signals up here where these two lines branch off or come together, depending on which way you're going. And then we just throw some signals on up the line here. Uh, getting us going uh, back towards Albuquerque. Yep. All right. So uh, let's get one here. Another one here. There we go. Uh, get one here. Get one here. Ooh, we gotta do something about this road here. We gotta do a little bit of work on some of these. Uh, some of these things. Uh, let's put a signal about halfway between this uh, spur line here. Yeah, we'll leave that. Make sure Albuquerque is connected. Let's go ahead and halt the game a little bit because we don't have everything buttoned up and I'll continue to get warnings like this if I don't deal with all that stuff. So for now, let's just go ahead and let it do its thing uh, or let's freeze time a little bit. Uh, until we get all of this ready to go. Once we get enough of it done that we can get some um, of the uh, crude oil running, uh, then we should be able to jump all over it. All right, so we got this line coming in, so I need a signal here, and I need a, a signal on this track here coming in. Yep, really don't need much signaling here, uh, but we do need to get our waypoint signals in, or signage in. Uh, for all of these tracks. Now, somebody was asking me in the comments why why I don't ditch the waypoint signs and just use signals. I like the waypoint signs. They're, you know, they're like platform signs, um, which would be used to identify platforms and such. So it's not like they're just something that's part of the game. They're realistic in real life. So... And, you know, I think that person was just making the comment, honestly, just to point out to me that they know that they can use signals. Yes, you can use signals as waypoints instead of just waypoints. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. I'm pretty sure that was, hey, by the way, I don't know if you know it or not, but you can use signals to do that instead of using the waypoints. Yeah, I know that. Or to do it this way. Um, all right, so maybe a signal there and another signal there. Maybe we throw a signal in here and that's all good to go. Now we'll work on all this down here eventually. Um, but just to try to keep myself from getting a bunch of warning signs and, uh, Hey, you didn't fix this. Uh, I do want to try to get some roads. Uh, in here, so again, I get as few warnings as possible. So, 
Let's bring this road back here. Start right about there. That's the wrong road to build. This road here. Bring it over like so. Ramp it up a little bit. So I gotta give it a little more length. That do force. Took out a little collision there. Well, let's pull it out a little bit and take it down some so it's not as high. Eh, maybe we go up a little bit more with it. Come on. There we go. That should work. That should work. We'll take a little bit of this bend out here. We run that road up to there. there go. And we'll run that road to there. And that'll be good. That will be one crisis averted. Uh, then we got another one right here. Which I think we're okay right here. Let's uh, let's try this. I want to try the smoothing tool a little bit. Uh, to maybe ramp this over a little. You know, smooth this out a little bit. So it's not such a harsh road going over. You know, if we bring that up just a little bit terrain wise. There we go. And then we bring in our road and bring it up and over. Make sure we don't get no crazy pump in here. I think I saw a little bit of one. Oh, but that road looks terrible right there. <laughs> that doesn't work. No. Sorry. I can't live with that. That's just ridiculously bad. Puts it on either side, no matter what I do. What if I go straight across? Does it do it? That is terrible right there. Right from this way. Great crossing seems to be a bit more, a bit more tasteful. We'll do that. And then we'll just, uh, you know, redraw these roads a little bit. How about we do that? Oh, road. Uh, we'll redraw you. So you come, you know, down like that. That's fine. It cost me a little bit more money, but in this day and age, we can afford that because, well, we've got a little bit more money. Um, so we can kind of afford to, to be a little more generous. Man, them people from the railroads, they're so generous. They put in such nice roads for us. I don't understand why people don't like them. They're so friendly. <laughs> Words never uttered. All right, so that's that. That gets us uh, all of our little... All of our little blemishes tied up, except for up here. I got a, uh, I got one up here uh, that's got to go. And there's nothing we can do here really other than jump this. So um, let's boom boom. Um, let's rotate around. Look how that looks. Um, I wish it was. I, I should have started a little bit further out so that it looks a little bit better. Bump, bump. No matter what I do, it seems to put it over there now. Huh? I don't like that for sure. All right, let's try one more time. Let's pull from this side over to this side. And let's bring it up. One more. See, now I put it right there. Why can't it just put it evenly spaced? I mean, if the distance between the two is somewhat the same and the elevations are somewhat the same, uh, why can't you base those out a little bit better? Oh, that looks horrible. Can't stand it. I really just cannot stand that. Uh, it is just... It is determined to put it right there all right let's see if what we do no nope. ah, that's not gonna work either oh well 
it's just determined to have it right there next to the track no matter what i do it just it does not want to give me a decent symmetrical build it's every time and then it drops it over on this side i mean i wish i could just grab this whole thing and shift it just a little bit to the right right so look road ends right here at this tree bush and it ends right here so if i take it off there and i start right here and i go back to right on this side of the tree and put it you'll think that it'll actually move and shift no it oh wait oh it puts it right there in the middle there's no way i can win i no matter what i do i'm gonna fail at this this is kind of bummer um we'll just go with that we'll just deal with it we'll just take it and run with it it's not gonna look as good as i would like for it to look but it looks okay all right so that's done um and that is in place all right so at this point we need to um we need to put in some truck stations or some truck depots commercial truck stations um because we are going to have to transfer the crude oil that comes from down below into the station here we're going to have to transfer it over into this facility here and there's just no way to get around it um so i'm going to have to capture that train depot much of that train depot as we can capture and uh it's still i need to be up here close to it so let's just put it in right about here um and maybe if we smooth that a little bit before we put it in maybe that'll give us a little bit better uh maybe it'll look a little bit better when it's all placed we bring all that ground up a little bit around it probably not wishful thinking yeah pretty much all right so i don't know why i hit the wrong button there but i did all right so i'm just gonna slightly straighten this up a little bit and we'll plop that right about there all right so is that what i want to do i don't know man. the close um now that I look at that, I'm wondering if I should have put... Yeah, I'm fine. That'll work. All right, so the next thing we want to do is uh, we need to put another one down here somewhere that captures this guy, um, but also is as close to that as possible. Um, so let's see what we get here. We can get pretty far away. Can we go on the other side of the street? Right there. That's about right. All right, so maybe we put it right in here somewhere. The intersection is going to be a nightmare. I just already know it is. I'm going to put these a little bit further from the intersection. Maybe right about there. We'll put that truck in. And that will be our line that's going to bring the crude oil from the station to here, which is actually here. So good enough. Good enough for me. All right, so let's see. We need line manager. I need one, two, three lines that we're going to do this time. The first line is going to bring our crude oil up to Kansas City uh, to our freight yard. So that is going to be this one. And we are going to call this KC. And it is freight. Oh, back, 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 back. KC. And this is going to be uh, bulk crude. That's all it's doing. It's bringing bulk crude to Kansas City, right? So that's that. And it's going to go into this station. And then it's going to travel down here. This guy here. There we go, which is Albuquerque South. And then it is going to return back through our loop. And I'm going to put it on this inside rail right here. We'll have it go in through waypoint three. And that will have it sitting on this inside line to make its deliveries and head on out. So good enough for me. Good enough for you. Good, good, good enough. All right. So that is done. And when we're Albuquerque South, that's where we're going to hold to load. 
that will make sure that it holds down there and loads. All right, so that one is done. Uh, then this one here, line one, the orange one here, this is going to be our crude delivery from here to here. So basically this is just um, crude transfer or whatever. So uh, let's go back, 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 Kansas City. And this is a road, so it's a couple of hash marks there for me to delineate that. And this one is going to be um, crude transfer. How about that? Just pretty simple, crude trans. Yep, and that will be getting the crude from there to there. Now, the last thing we need to do is uh, we're gonna need one more freight station or truck station. And instead of putting it over here and letting you know the trucks run out of it and get doubled up, I'm gonna move it over here. And now this one's gonna be pulling crude back up to there uh, because it's gonna be loading trains, but this one is going to be taking the, uh, the crude into Kansas City itself. So I can put it over here as close as I want to, uh, to the bridge. And so let's put it right about here. And this is going to take everything from this terminal and distribute it into these two places here. So we can go ahead and mock that up. And so this is gonna be our fuel distribution, for Kansas City. And so that, that, and we'll just call that fuel distribution. Now I don't wanna call this like freight one or something like that because um, it's not gonna be my freight line. Oh, why did I use plus signs? I never use plus signs, come on now. There we go. All right, so um, this is gonna go here, here, and here. And that's gonna be my freight distribution uh, for fuel, but it's not my freight line. Freight would be if something comes off of here and then goes into the city. So um, this being distribution straight from the manufacturer is a completely different story. Um, but anyways, again, the reason why I'm gonna do two truck stations is this truck station is going to be busy enough bringing crude in and then slapping crude right back out. Um, so I want this one to be separate so the trucks running into the city over here won't be a part of this congestion down here. So that's my game plan anyway. All right, so that is done. That is that. Um, let's see, we're going to need a couple little things. We're going to need a depot here, uh, a road depot. Because we do have a we, we have a transit depot or a tram depot uh, in town, but we don't have a road depot. We'll just slap it. Yeah, let's slap it right here. There we go. Uh, and this will get our trucks on the line. And then we need to put a depot, a rail depot in too. Now, I've been looking at this, and I think this is a really great area to put our road depot in or rail depot in because nothing's going to get built in this area. And this would be a good way to spur trains out of here. Uh, we could do it down here, but I don't have as much room to maneuver in there as I do here. So I'm thinking what I should be able to do is grab a little piece of rail here. Ching, ching. There we go. And then right after the switch here, right about here, roll this. No catenary. Roll this in just a little bit. Um, maybe not that much. And roll it in like that and then roll it in a little like that so that I can put it in there and then do the same thing kind of over here rolling in and around too much curvature hmm. um anyway, let's bring it off there like that if I can make this work. Too much curvature. Forward a little bit more. Um, all right, well, let's bring it to there and see if a little score to track like that. And a little score to track like that. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, like that. No, that didn't work either. Um, all right, well, let's do this. Do, 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 do. Let's get rid of that little bit of track. Let's get rid of that little bit of track. Let's find this. Oh, that's not what I want. I want that, right? 
Let's make sure this is gonna fit in here because this would be stupid to put this in and then not put it in the right place, right? I mean, if it's not in the right place and doesn't even work, then we'd be really, really dumb. See, look there, that goes in there. Get rid of a little bit of track here. Let's give ourselves a little squirt of track off the front of that. And then we can bring that around in the, well, come on now, cooperate with me. Come on, boom, boom, that's in there. And then pull that into there like, boom, that works. And we gotta do a little bit more signaling uh, because we will need, um, we really don't need one off that side. What we do need is a, a light there and a light there and well, we need a light there. I really wouldn't have a, there wouldn't be anything coming inbound on that, but this is the outbound leg, right? So let's get rid of this signal so we don't add any confusion, right? Uh, and then going out though, we would need a signal over here and a signal right there. There we go. Ha ha ha. Now let's make this a little bit better even and we'll get the tree machine gun out. Dun dun dun, tree machine gun. Come on, let's fill in a little bit of this so it looks a little nicer. So as people drive by the uh, train by, they don't have to look at that. Oh, it's a freight line though, like it matters. Uh, you know, engineers have feelings too, right? They need some nice scenery. Tree machine gun. You know, I mean, you got a, a couple of different tree that you can use with this tree brush thing. You can use those conifers and or those evergreen looking things, and then you can put the well. These are actually conifers, and but I can't stand that tree right there. That one tree right there. If they get rid of those, I'd like this tree a lot. This this thing a lot better. But those dead trees, and there's too many of those dead trees. You know, just. I hate the landscape for the U.S. theme on this anyways. It just is, it's terrible. It just did a bleh. Couldn't they have given like the U.S. two different themes of map, like desert bleh, and then also like a nice lush East Coast U.S. theme map? I mean, that'd have been nice. That'd have been pretty cool um, versus what we got because um, yeah. I think we got gypped on this if you're from the States. I mean, if you're from Europe, you really don't care, right? Because you got a nice, decent, like, selection of trees and everything looks beautiful. You've got some grass. <laughs> Which I don't get because, like, um, it seems like when I was doing the, the campaign for uh, like Indianapolis, everything was green there. It wasn't nasty, nasty stuff, you know. Um, anyways, we're, we're going a little crazy with the trees here, aren't we? All right, we can, we can cut up on the tree machine. It's, it's addictive though. It's like once you start, you can't stop. Sort of like Lay's potato chips, you know. Bet you can't just eat just one Lay's potato. Y'all remember that from like when we were kids? Oh, some of us were kids. I mean, kids today, you just don't know what you're missing out on some of the stuff that we had when we were young. Um, all right, so that looks decent. Doesn't look, it just, it sticks out like a sore thumb, but it looks better than what we had. Um, I really, really wish that you had a ballast tool in with this. I mean, you got some rocks that you can place, but I really wish you had a ballast tool. A ballast tool would be really awesome. And ballast is is gravel, right? So if I could put gravel up through here, it would be some. But yeah, I didn't get that. Didn't get any gravel tool. So we'll just kind of run through here with this. Let's see if we can if we can size that down and kind of level all this up. Get it done now so it looks decent. Yeah, if you could gravel all this up. Uh, up through here so it looked like it actually came into the area a little bit better uh, I think that would be killer all right 
go. Move that up a little bit. Oh, we're starting to get there. I could go all day along with that tree machine gun, and I really should. Like I should do some stuff over in this area too, but we're not going to. We're we're gonna we're gonna get back to the job at hand, which is put a train on this. We need a train. It's train time, right? So, um, let's get rid of that. Let's click on this guy and let's buy a train. Choo choo, c -c choo choo. Uh, this is going to be our um, fire train or our uh, fuel train, crude train. This is going to be bringing crude to us, and since it is a flammable, uh, and flammable stuff in this game is orangish yellow, so that's the uh, color we're going to make this train. So we're going to buy one locomotive for it. And then we are going to lace it up with a whole bunch of tanker cars on it, uh, all the way up to 320 meters worth of it. So we'll just start popping them on there. And 310, 327 is too many. So we'll go with 310. That is that. That is our train that we're gonna use and we'll set that on the line. And that is going to be our Kansas City crude, bulk crude, that is what that is. Kansas City Bolt Crude, ready to go out the gate. Now, uh, we might as well go ahead and get a couple of trucks on the line too, because here's the one thing, if you don't, like if I let that train roll out and it goes all the way down here to the um, to the crude oil uh, refinery down here, or the oil well, if I let it go down there and I don't have a tra truck running from here to here, it will never activate that oil well down there. So we might as well go ahead and buy a couple of vehicles. We're gonna buy uh one two three four of these and we'll set these on the line here that will be our kansas city crude transfer yep those are that is a thing and we'll let that go we'll worry about getting these trucks uh once this facility starts cooking out some some stuff so at this point we're good to go there and we can start getting that going now probably again i'm probably going to get some warnings uh, that one is connected, but Albuquerque is not connected. So uh, we probably need to come down here to Albuquerque and do a little work on Albuquerque while um, while that gets set up because, like I said, I'm going to get screamed out if I don't. So let's get a road. Um, 30 mile an hour road, maybe. No, no, I like a 40 mile an hour. Going from here to here. No, 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 no. No, I want that to be a little bit straighter. No, no, no. Yes. I like that. Now that looks good. And if we tie that into that, eh, okay, because it kind of wobbled a little bit there, but it'll work. Straighten that up a little bit more. Auto save. Everybody, just stop what you're doing, because auto save is going to ruin everything that you're used to. All right, so let's bring that in like so. And let's see if we can't bang that in like that. That's good. All right, so that gives us a little bit of road there. And before the AI builds into it, we might as well um, hmm. I'll let the AI decide whose businesses they're gonna destroy in order to get here. Uh, but we should go ahead and go ahead and put a couple of uh, a couple of shipping places here just to handle the uh, the load going out of here. And I'm going to go ahead and put a couple in just for growth uh, because you never know like how many you're going to need. And I think two's good a good number. Put one on each side, and that way uh, we don't get everything trying to come out of one truck depot. Now, I know also, like, the bigger truck depot has more shipping platforms on it. It has a total of, like, four platforms, but I don't like it. I, I don't like it because it, um, it tends to have too much congesting just, you know, pulling in here. Yeah, you got four places for it to load trucks out of, um, but it's too much congestion, so I don't even, I don't even worry about using all that. I'll get a little warning if I don't put a little street back here as well. So let's squirt a little bit of road off of this side. Um, just to do something with it. Let's go that way a little bit. And um, 
go that way a little bit. There you go. And let's uh, drag a little road. No. Come on. Oh, this is like the this this game is just it's about the end of performance on this computer and i'm a beast of a computer it's just man this is a lot to push this game with all these elements going all the little agents that are working and you know in the game itself it's just it's a lot for it to handle and it's it's getting to that point where it's really really lagorific um but it's all right we'll get through it all right, so we got that going, we got that going. We should have our train coming into the station down here. It is here. Now, are we getting production out of this facility yet? No, we're not getting any production out of that facility. We are probably gonna need to send this train away uh, for it to, to get a little production in the facility. So let's, let's send it on its way. And you know what, let's, let's take a little ride on it. I don't do enough train riding for you guys, so let's let's do a little train ride. And we'll enjoy our time on our little Kansas City Bolt Crude line. And we'll get an idea of what really needs to be worked on. It needs, uh, you know, I need to, I really need to sit down one day and take the tree machine gun and go crazy. And, and, and really, like, something I've thought about before I do the next map. I've thought about actually getting the next map, figuring it out, and then just taking the tree machine gun and covering the entire map before I even start. And, you know, having to actually go through the forest and everything. Since you can destroy, the trees are free to begin with, and they destroy as you go through there. I thought about doing that. I like trees. I like, I like scenery. This is good. Real, real boring. Um, but anyways, yeah, we, man, we're struggling here. All right. So, what, we're 58 miles an hour coming up through here. Which is pretty good, because this is quite hilly terrain uh, that we're working through. So the fact that it's even able to... Uh, to get up to speed is fine. If I thought it would benefit us, I'd add like a couple of trains onto it or another engine onto it and do a, a dual head on it, but I just, I don't think it'll benefit us. I think the cost would be too much. We'd never turn a profit. All right, so here we come into the man-made park or forest uh, that we, we did right here to conceal our our depot. Yeah. He can't yeah, he can't even notice the depot. Lovely. Getting this much nicer coming through some trees. Ah, so lovely. If this were a passenger line, you'd absolutely love riding on it. Alright, let's get off of this. It's as much as I can deal with. All right, so uh, through there, wraps around, and then we head right back out. Albuquerque South, what is happening in Albuquerque South? Nothing is waiting. Why, why is nothing waiting? Am I gonna have to go through the platform before you decide that it's active and you ought to be able to give me some oil? Come on, give me some of that beautiful black gold. Come on. All right, so the train's going to go through the loop. Through the loop we go. It'd just be better with trees in here, wouldn't it? I need to shoot the machine gun. When I start the new map, we're going to mod it up. We're going to put a lot of, like, add-on stuff. So some placeable warehouses, things like that, that can be put in. I think that'll be really cool as well. That'll add a lot to the, the visualness of the game. All right, so then we come... Yep, we routed perfect back here to the back part of our part of our uh, platform back here. All right, now if everything works right, as soon as he comes to a complete stop, 
this guy should start producing. Line usage, no. Line usage, no. Line usage, no. All right, come on now, show me some line usage, yes. Come on, show me line usage, yes. Wait a minute, what's going on? Why am I getting no line usage? Wait, did my trucks not go out? Why did my trucks not go out? Where are my trucks at? Whoa, 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 set the line here. This is the problem. This is why we have no usage. God, what are you guys doing here? You should be rolling on out. Crude transfer. Come on, boys. Hit the road. What did I do wrong? Why is that not working? Why aren't you guys going out online? Kansas City crude transfer. Right? Did I get this right? KC crude trans. All right. What is wrong? What did I do wrong? Road. Kansas City crude. Oh, I never put any... Silly me. Why didn't y'all tell me I did that wrong? Oh, somebody right now is typing in. Idiot, you didn't do, you didn't actually put any stations on it. Okay, so that fixes the whole thing. And this, as soon as one of those guys drives through this thing, it's going to go active. Wow, that was a bonehead move. Way to go, Moose. You're a moron. Yeah, yeah, just don't even turn in here. Just ignore this guy. Just go on up here and drive through this little place up here. Because you're killing me right now. I, I need to have some crude flowing from this well over to this train. But, you, you know, it's timing is everything. I mean, how about some drama there? Um, it really wouldn't matter until this train gets actually to the platform. Uh, it doesn't matter how much crude it pops out, but... And stop at the platform. Yep, swing in, kick that rear end around, and show me usage. Show me usage. Show me usage. Come on, show me usage now. Show me usage. Oh, you're killing. Oh, you did. There we go. Awesome. Ooh, man. If I'd have done all that work and that old well not gone active, I'd have felt like a real idiot. All right, so that's done. Hey, so while we're here, uh, there's a couple of things I noticed. There's a whole lot of people that need to get on some trams. 43 on commuter one. Uh, over here, I got 35 on commuter two needing some ride. Uh, down here, commuter one and two. 48 there, 20 there. So I need to purchase some new trams. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we need to put quite a few out here. Uh, let's get our color right before we put them out there. Yep, and let's go in one, two, three, four. Let's set those. Let's see, Kansas City commuter one, right? We got commuter one, commuter two, right? So let's do commuter one, and then we'll go one, two. Hey, hey, oh, oh, yep, the one, two. Nope, not those. Sell those. I don't want those. Those are ugly. Did I just buy those? Wait, please tell me I bought the... Which one did I buy? Oh, good, good, good. Wait, is that what I bought? Yep. Okay, all right. Whew. One, two, three, four. Uh, all right, let's go back to there. Four more? Yeah, bought four more. And let's put those on Kansas City Commuter 2. Right, there we go. And shoot those out. And that will get commuter two running and hopefully that'll alleviate uh, some of those people and get more people out here to the to the train station and ride the train. Look, we're four point six billion dollars. Yeah, we're making money. We're making money. No slouch here. All right, so we got this area working. Everything's growing. We got people doing their thing. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's a success. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyways, so let's get up here and take a look at Torrance. Torrance needs a little bit of love here. We need to work on 
getting our loop finished up as well as we need to get our train out of here and then we've also got to work on getting this in over here this area over here you know what I might work on this first let's work on this side first let's work reverse uh, out of here let's come over here and we're gonna put a station in here now I've been looking at this and I think my best option is to do a freight loop. Now, I know it seems like I'm in love with a freight loop right now, but let me show you why uh, I'm thinking freight loop. Like, I've got this platform here that's gonna be 320 long. It's gonna have two stations on. It's gonna be standard, no catenary, and no side treat. Why? Somebody asked me the other day, how come you don't use high speed to begin with? Uh, that way you save time and money. Um, when I'm doing freight, I don't do uh, we're doing a US map. We covered this last time. We're on a US theme map and US theme map No electric trains. We just don't do electric here in the US. So it doesn't behoove me to do Electric on this map. So I don't do electric on this map um, If we were doing a European theme map, then I might do it um, But anyways, I looked at this and I thought well, I could come in here and I could drop this in like so uh, And then come out here, but I need two sidings and I need one siding for the um, the cars that are going to come in with gondolas on them because they're going to be bringing the gravel in, right? But the other thing is, or the, qu the quarry stone is going to come in on there. The other line is going to be nothing but state cars and it's going to be waiting here to load. So I was thinking, well, I need two, I need two sides here instead of just one. Um, so... Well, I can do it. I can do it this way. We'll just do this. You know, I wasn't even thinking. I was thinking I was going to use a freight loop. But now that I got to think about it, I'm thinking, well, why don't I just use diamond intersection? Duh. Um, so, yeah, I can make this work. My beloved diamond intersection returns back to the game. Um, so let's turn this here and aim this in that general direction over that yonder way. Um over towards that hill because here's the thing let's look at the terrain here um terrain 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 we kind of want to go around this flat here sort of what i'm thinking so maybe even just bring this over to about right in here and put that right there and then we'll squirt a little bit of road um and we don't even need to do the expensive road we can do the cheap road Cheap roads, good road. Yep, cheap road, right to there. Uh, and that will connect everything up to there. And then we can go out of there. Um, so another thing I was thinking about with here is I'm thinking about maybe squirting a little road down here to the farm and putting in a truck station here and a truck station here and being able to roll the gondola train out of here and stop uh, down here at the chemical factory and drop some or or stop here and drop chemicals off and be able to truck those over to there um and you know in that way this train leaving out of here makes a little bit of money empty when it's got gondolas on it it could work it could be a thing right all right so i got two rails out of here all right and we're gonna just come out of here and i i kind of want to go out of here i don't want to go out of here flat if I can do it without having a tunnel, I can at least go to there without a tunnel. That'd be awesome. And I want to get my diamond intersection in so that we can crisscross here. So we'll go about right there. I need to leave a little bit of space so that I can put my uh, my waypoints in. Right? Boom. Boom. Diamond intersection in. Done. Good. We're golden. So now we just need to come. Ooh, you know what? Uh, need to go up there, actually. Huh. Yeah, see, I'm wanting to stay. I'm wanting to stay right around this line right here, is what I want to stay at. So, like, I want to be right about there. I don't want to be underground, though. Darn it. Oh, you know what? I'm not thinking. I come down here. Do I come out? I do come out right there. Hmm. 
That's not the right elevation. Ooh, I kind of messed that up. I actually need to be up right in this elevation here, which is this right there, which there's no way. No way we're getting up there. No way we're getting up there. That's going to be hard, hard, hard. It's going to be hard to get up here. Hmm. Well, not actually. Wait, let's turn this off. Duh. And let it climb itself out naturally. Um, and let's see what happens. Does it need to loop and get back over around in this area? Look, see, it could actually come out right about there. It could work. It could actually work. It's not going to be able to get down to here, but that would have to do its own little thing to get down to there. And then we do something that works. I'm taking it. I'm going to take it. How much is that? 2.257, uh, two and a half million trams. Which trams are getting old? Tor uh, Nor Norwick? Norwick? Norwick trams are getting old? Norwick commuter. Replacement. 100%. Set the vehicle on that. We're going red, right? Ching. Okay. Yep. Replace. All right. Have fun. All right. So that gets that done. Um, and we got to run this to match it. And this is an expensive tunnel, but the building materials will be worth it. They'll be very much worth it. I really want to work on staying above the terrain, though, in the future. Um, all right, so. Have you met Bulldozer? Yeah, get rid of that. All right, I get that off screen. I don't need to see that anymore. Um, all right, so I need to turn that a little bit like so. Get that going a little bit. There we go. And then at this point, I need to see if I can start going around. Actually, I don't need to do that. Let's bring this guy around to that. And that'll be more important. So let's pull that out a little bit, like so. Yeah, and then start turning that. Not going to be as fast as I want it, but it'll work let's go and get rid of that let me try to start it a little bit sooner um all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start veer in that way like that and honestly the speed doesn't matter because when i start putting all these um platforms in. It's going to slow everything down anyways, because you're going to have all these little junctions, or all these little switches here that are going to slow everything down anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Right? Um, and again, just to make it a little easier on myself, I'm going to pull that one, and then off that one I'm going to pull this one. Um, it'll just... less congestion. And let's smooth this out so it's not so carved up and hilly. And we'll just kind of smooth that edges there a little bit. So there's, you know, we're not going to have rock slides onto the track, right? There we go. That'll work. That'll work on the rest of this get it right yeah get all that smooth down some all right so why is that not connected to the line did i forget what i was doing here 
Oh, I thought about getting rid of this. That's what that is. I thought about getting rid of it because I was going to use that as the bypass, remember? And then I decided, oh, well, nah, just keep it. I really don't need it. I really should just change this down to only four lines. But we'll leave it as it is. All right, so right here we need to do a big loop around. And um, figure out where we're going to bring that in. works and then we need to bring this up up and around and hit that like so boom that's good all right so that gives us our freight loop that's good now we just need to bring this around bang into there like so i don't really love that bridge um i guess that's gonna have to happen and be a thing All right, that gives it a little character, right? Uh, and then let's bring this round. And somehow we got to join all that in together. That, or can we make that match up a little bit? Right about there? Right there. Okay. I got to get rid of this bridge. All right, so make that red. There we go. Um, not that it really matters a ton, but yeah. All right, and then tie that into there like so. Boom. Uh, I'm an idiot. I'm stupid. Why you don't have a wonder tool to upgrade your bridge? That's what I don't understand. You see, I should be able to click on the bridge here and somehow upgrade the bridge to fix the bridge back to what the bridge should be. Uh, but I don't have that ability. So what I have to do is break the bridge and relay the bridge. And it never relay, it never goes back in quite the way you want it to go back in. Cause it always wants to put a little bit more, um, uh, a little bit more bankman in each time. See how it pushed that bankman out just a little bit more. There we go and that over to red yep and see now it's not going to go back in uh rod oh yeah um uh, about that um yeah we, we decided we don't want to go back in there uh not the way that you, you know not the way that you had originally had it see this is what happens when you break something it never goes back in quite right uh nightmares i'm telling you it's just ugh. just break the whole thing again we'll start with this side see if we can get this to work all right so come to there to there and say okay uh make it red okay uh, it goes in place and then let's bring this up to where that matches right why is it trying to go up in the air like that those two not match? No, oh, that's linked ballast. These are the same elevation. Auto save. Here. Uh, I hate the auto save. Alright, so let's just pull this back into there like so. There we go. That'll work. Now we got it. Now we just grab that. Bend it. Bring it down here like that. And boom. Nailed it. All right, loop is in, double track is in, double track comes into the tunnel, goes up here, hits the diamond intersection, and comes into our two little places up here that we now have to put some, uh, some good stuff onto. Now, the eye candy here, I cannot put signals right here. If I put signals right there, we will have problems with trains running into each other. Um, so what we can do is we put, you know, we put one signal here uh, to stop the inbound train while these two were coming in and out. Um, and then we just have to use the, imp the implied signals that are here, um, in here. I would love to have them right here, but I can't do that. If I do, we have issues. I am gonna put one signal right here 
and this is going to act as a release signal and i've done this before and i've explained it to you guys why i do that it really doesn't i mean you really wouldn't want one there because you wouldn't want a train to stop right here and be blocking the the points but by putting it here as soon as this train passes here uh like if i have a train holding right here to come over onto this siding or onto this platform i'm i'm trying to use the right terms but uh, you know i do mess up um because i'm not a professional train guy but anyways if i have a train that's stuck right here at this signal and he's waiting on this train to go out before he comes over to this platform if i don't put a signal right there if i put it way up here somewhere then that train has to sit at this signal until this train passes the signal way up here. Whereas if I put a release signal right here, when the train passes that signal, it will tell this train that it can go ahead and go into here. So I do put those in periodically in as a release um, just to get the train rolling. So we'll put some signals up in here as well. Um, Put one here and here. And as I've told you before, when you're laying signals in the uh, in tunnels, go to this side of it, put a signal on this side, go to this side of it to put a signal on that side. And it makes putting signals in there super duper simple. All right, signal there. And this can be a bit of a roller coaster ride. There we go, signals there. Uh, then we need signals on both of these. Uh, we'll signal there. And a signal there. And uh, a signal there. And a signal there. And then lots of signals coming into here. And a signal here. And a signal there. We don't need any signals there. We do need waypoints. Alright. But here I can have maximum eye candy. I can have all the eye candy that I want right here because uh, we're going one way at this point. So it doesn't matter. I can put all my signals in. I can have them and I can adore them. So that's what we will do. We'll put one there. And we'll put another one there. We'll put another one there and we'll put another one there. And again, what I'm saying is you know, I like my eye candy. I like the things that look good, that look like something that you would see if you were riding the rails. And so I would see these signals telling the train, okay, it's okay to come into the platform. But if I had a, if I was reversing out of here in this particular game, which, you know, um, if the train were coming in this way and there was another train on this platform, this signal would hold this train from going into the platform until that one pulled out the other side. But if they could flip around, which the game lets you automatically flip into reverse on stuff, uh, if I had that signal there and then there's an implied signal in here, that train would come all the way up and these two trains would headbutt and we'd never get anywhere. So that's why I'm saying you can't use these if you're using a terminal or a, a situation where a train's going to reverse out of it. So. Uh, don't use these in that point, but if everything is flowing in one general direction It's absolutely fine to use those and they work good and you know You're the only person losing out because you're losing the you know 3k per Per stick that you put down Like like I said to each his own there's some people Who jump all over me because you realize you don't need to do that. Yes, I do realize I don't need to put these in I am simply doing these as eye candy. Uh, all right, so we need a signal here to stop that train there. We need a signal there to stop that train there. A signal there and a signal there. And boy, that's a lot of signals in together. But again, I'm doing it for eye candy. That's the way it ought to be. All right. Uh, let's see. And that would wrap around there and go into there. And then this would be uh, a train would hold there. A train would hold there. Come up, wrap around. We've already done all that. So that part of that is basically laced up. 
Uh, we just need to do some signals here. So let's do a signal. Uh, you pass through here. You know, I, I guess technically you would need a signal right here not to go into the loop if there was a train holding right there. So we'll put a signal there to stop that. I would hate to stop anything on the main line, but it would have to. Um, then we'd set another signal up here. Um, and just about the same area on that line. Let's do one right here where they're coming together. And, oops, something's stopping me. There we go. Um, all right, so just on the other side of the bridge, we'll put a couple in right there. And then again, right down here where these two come together or split, depending on which way you're going. And we'll put one in the middle there and one over here. Yep, yep. And, oh, that's, well, that's a ton of signals right there, isn't it? And then again, if I follow the same logic that I said earlier, I guess I technically should have one sitting. Right. Oh, come on, lag. I tell you, this, there's so much going on. So many things moving. It's just getting to that point uh, where the game is just performance is is suffering. Expected though, when you get this far into it. I mean, we're at 2055, um, and we're we're cooking right on through it. And we've got a ton of vehicles. You know, we've got a ton of stuff working. I mean, if we go through the list of all the road vehicles and and trains and everything else that are on the system. Uh, we got a lot. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's 80 trams alone. So, a lot, lot going there. All right, how are we doing over here at the uh, factory? Are we, are we producing some oil? Is zero production. Wait a minute. Is that train even moved? Is that train just sitting down here loading and hasn't actually rolled out? It could be. It could be the situation. Um, oh, yeah. It, it's not even moved yet. Roll on, baby. Roll on and let's get some oil transferred. You got to get a little going, right? What is this? Antioch food processing plant. Try to ship more items. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Hold your horses. All right. Anyways, so we got all this done and all that work is done to the point where we can add a train onto the system and start getting some things. But we've got to figure out is um, how are we going to get our quarry stone from here uh, onto the train? Are we going to truck it over and fill it up here? Or are we going to go ahead and put a train station in? Uh, you know, maybe right here. I was trying to figure this out. You know, I could, I could put a little train station right here and have it wrap out and then come into the main line and then go that way. If I tried to put it over here because it's so long, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the spur into this. Um, So I was thinking if I came out of it and then come back around, then tie the spur in here and then go that direction with it. I'm thinking that's what we'll do. It's a little bit different look, but uh, it would work for us rather than try to shoot it straight in there. That might be what I do. Uh, I'll, I'll check that out. We're running late on time, so I'm always up against it. Our train is coming in. Let's go ahead and check her out. So we got 103 gallons on there. That's going to be our first fuel production, and that will get us going here uh, in Kansas City. But, um, yeah, I think about that. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll probably... I don't want a truck. That's just a long way to truck, right? And that's traffic and congestion in the city. I, I want to avoid that as much as possible. Um, I mean, I could do like an interstate and go that way. Um, man, I just, trucks are so expensive versus a train. 
and it's going to get on the train anyways and go that distance. Might as well start it here and let it just swoop around, get on the, sp on the main line, and then travel all the way up that direction. The only other thought of my thought is, is I'll, I'll bring it up that way. Then I'll bring food up to it. And since it's gondolas, it can haul the grain back over here to this plastics facility. And the grain here, I would bring out the back side of this. I need to upgrade this facility real quick and give it a back street. I need to do that right now. Let's do this. Let's do that. Secondary street connection, apply, collision. What are we colliding with? Uh, it's going to be a signal somewhere, isn't it? It's going to be a silly signal. Oh, that signal right there. Oh, yeah. Um, These two signals down here, uh, they got to go uh, for you to put a silly side street in there. Question is, am I going to be able to get that side street uh, up and over to go over there? Surely I can. Surely I can. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll knock it out. I'll do it. I will do it in the next one. All right, anyways, things to ponder on before we get back into this in the next time. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smack that like button and uh, go ahead and share the video with your friends or wherever you might want to. That way we get a little bit of exposure out of it. And of course, comment below if you enjoyed the video. Uh, and then, of you know if you haven't already subscribed please do i try to do new videos each and every day for you guys or at least live stream in the evenings until the next time stay safe have yourself a wonderful day i'll see you later Bye bye